Welcome back to March to Orbit. So, um, last episode we uh, we got a camera thing and we did it, and then we failed our next mission. And yeah, we, I think we're on about a fifty percent failure rate at the moment for our mission. So we need to keep that in mind. Uh, we could probably improve that. Let's have a look. We got some some sort of notifications. We got contract completed. Ah, now there we go. So it expired. Yeah, we were right. I should have checked this in the last episode. So the the film return mission failed because it expired that's why it wasn't there when i wheeled the craft out and then it it basically percolated into a big problem because i then had to get rid of the craft because i would wheeled it out so note to self check that you haven't had an expired contract when you're warping through time right um those of you that were screaming at that point when that happened uh, i apologize all right we've done this on crude speed records that was from our previous launch we, we did that there and then we've got that so i'm quite expecting that we have a contract that's about to die. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's it's about to go bye byes. So we will just uh, we'll move this we'll move this one up. We'll go warpy warpy. We'll let we'll let the contract expire, which should ha happen. There we go. Contract has expired. Okay. Um, let's have a look. It's done. Now before that finishes building, let's have a look. What have we got available? Do we have right? Difficult. Ooh, altitude rocket. Downrange launch vehicle is not reset. Okay. Um, is that better than the last time? We are in the red big time, I've just realized. Oh my. Um, we might not be able to actually do a mission here, thinking about it. We need something that's going to give us a big payout to start with. I think we have to do that one, don't we? I think this series could potentially be over before it's begun. Um yeah, I have to take you. I have to take you and I have to complete you. Right. And I have to I have to scrap you. You have to be scrapped. Because I need the funds to get this one built. Now, is the rollout gonna be too much? It's gonna be for wow. This is this is a make or break for the for the for the program, actually. I didn't realise how bad we were. Um <clears throat> it is hard mode. Uh, but more accurately, it's the hard making money mode, obviously. So, um, yeah, we had a couple of failures. We've had a couple of we've lost a lot of money from from contracts ending before because I wasn't watching the clock. I, yeah, it's not something I'm used to actually having to do for something like that. Um, our research is just taking forever. Um, we're in 19, 1954 already, which is if you watch my Express to Orbit, that's disgusting. Um, I would be in orbit by now, but. We're doing everything differently, so let's launch this thing. All right, let's put this very simply. If this mission fails, I think the series has failed. Now, I don't know whether I restart from zero. Um, I suppose it would give it a different angle. I could uh, I could use craft I've already built. That would make it quicker. Um, but this, if this fails, we have. I think I don't think I can get back out of it um, because the. The loss funding for this, um, we could build another one, but I I think we would have enough time. The problem would be, I don't know if we'd have enough money to actually not just build it, but to actually wheel it out and launch it. And I don't think in hard mode you're allowed to go into the ne into the negatives with like just building stuff. You can when you fail missions like we did, but yeah. So this is uh, <laughs> this is a little bit this is a little bit uh, on edge, shall we say? So right. We have to hit this, not that one. <laughs> we have to hit this one. I just saw the top one and was terrified. All right, uh, let's go. Engine, please light. Please just light. And we're away. And it does that horrible wobble yet again that makes me think it's going to break. Right, last time the engine failed. Is the engine going to fail this time? Do we have the look to do this? This is, uh, yeah, this is tight. Now, I should point out, oh, we're going up here. I'm going to speed it up, but... You may be thinking, my God, he's terrible at this game. I, I you know, the uh, Express to Orbit, the very basic space program, all that stuff is actually done basically one take. I don't I don't go back and edit and I don't sim. I don't tend to sim. Um, this is very different because it's fast. I, I'm trying to build these things fast. I'm trying to I'm trying to not, you know, dwell and think about things. It's very easy in RP1, I think, to actually spend a good 20 minutes 
looking at contracts and looking at calendars. I also, because I've used the um, Express install, don't have Kerbal Alarm Clock installed, which is my usual sort of safety net for things like this. So I am acutely aware of that. I haven't even moved MechJeb yet. I can't even remember how you do it. You know, you, the little MechJeb pull down. I haven't moved that yet. Um, oh dear, we are going very high. Oh dear. I think this thing's probably going to die. Um, I don't think... The, oh no, it doesn't need to come back down. It doesn't need to come back down. We just need to go down range. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, actually. Oh, if this was the uh, film canister one, we'd be dead now. It would be dead, but... It is not the film canister one. It is the go down range one. So all I have to do is that. Where's my money? Where's my money? Sign? Where's my sign? Come on. There's eight. Have we got it? We completed some contracts. Do we? Do we have the contract? Do I? Is it done? It. Is it done? It. Where is it? Where are we? Right. I've got to go. I've got to go a little bit more. Come on. You're done. No. No. Come on. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Oh, just right. Okay, so we've got some speed records and things like that. We've got 36,000 in the bank. Okay, I think that's enough. And we've we've cleared out that contract as well. So that's a bonus. This thing's hitting the atmosphere at a pace there, right? Um, I'm going to... Are you still transmitting? You are still transmitting. I'm going to let you go through the atmosphere. And it's probably not a sensible idea. That was the worst launch ever. I was... You know what? I started to panic partway through because I thought we were having to bring it back. But then I remembered there's a reason why I wasn't worried about being anything but 45 degrees because it's just a downrange distance contract. So I shouldn't have actually gone to zero uh, when I did. I should have just kept it going at 45 to go maximum downrange. Um, as it is, we actually didn't get as far downrange as I thought we were going to get, possibly because of just the design. I don't know. It's, uh, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Let's pull up the um, flight. Where are we? Flight guidance? No. Uh, flight recorder. How far down range are we? We got five, we got about six hundred kilometers. Okay, so about twenty percent of what we'd need for um for that final thing. I think this craft could be the basis of something for that. Whether we go for it straight away or not, I don't know. Um, this thing's gonna burn up. Yeah, this gone. Burn up, burn up. There you go. Wonderful, perfect. Um, you now you now low enough that I can actually just range safety. There we go. Yes, range safety. Wonderful. Right. Let's get back to the VAB. Right, so we need to uh, build up a little bit of a store of cash. We're going to do the film return again. That's going to give us uh, potentially 25,000. Um, but it costs a bit to launch that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually pre-build two of them um, or pre-build one of them before we take the mission. The other one will then be ready. And then we'll have a look at maybe one of those um, sounding rocket craft as well. So we'll, we'll put one of these on. Um, yeah, we'll definitely we'll build that. That costs a thousand. We're then going to build um, the film canister one. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm going to build two of those. Okay, just check if these got. They don't need it. Yeah, right. They cost a bit, don't they? Yeah. Now we got we got enough money back off scrapping one of those to actually do that previous flight. I don't think we would have had enough funds to do the previous flight. Um, we actually got about three thousand back off it, but I'm not entirely sure why. Ah, because that's the build cost, that's the integration cost, and the rollout cost is there. So the integration cost gets added to that, doesn't it? Okay, so so that's why it was about three thousand back. It was actually over three thousand, three thousand three hundred or something. So if we hadn't have scrapped that, we definitely wouldn't have been able to afford to do anything at all so we've got two of those ready now we also have the uh, biological sample missions um, that we need to think about and for those i think you have to have um i think you have to have some payload on board so what we will do for those is and i'll just pull this off now we will put a payload in there we'll put the, the biological sample we'll put the payload in like a, a thing around it and we'll do it like that i think is, is probably what we'll do um so there we go right um, those are being built. Let's let's have a look at the biological sample one because they, they are pretty standard, I think. Right. So in here, I've probably just cut out about 30 seconds of moving around. Oh, that's interesting. We've got there. Um, in here, we can see the biologic. Right. So the next film return is 150, 400 damage. We, we should be able to do that with the next craft. So the biological requires 35. And I think it goes up to 115. I think it's 115 units. So if we design a craft that goes up to 115 units of sounding payload around a biological capsule, 
and brings it down i think we've got something we can do three times so we can just then we can just design that as is so let's pop into here and do that again right so we're going to rename this to bio 115 there we go so what am i doing right let's see we're going to take this thing to bits we're going to we're going to try to reuse as much as we can because money is obviously tight for us now i wasted a lot of money on on upgrade points which i i, I actually did need to do earlier so we're going to take that off. We're going to take this, remove it. I want myself a biological unit, which is in here. Biological sample. It's tiny. Right. Uh, we'll turn it on because we might as well. Right. Then I need a tank of some sort. Conventional would be nice. We're going to make this um, holocone. Holocone makes me think it's a good idea. Or holocinolinder. Holocone. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave a tiny little gap there, but we're going to uh, we're going to reduce that. That's too small. Right. I'm going to take it to so I can see a gap. Yeah. About 450. I want to say 450. Is there a gap? Yeah, there's a there's a visible gap there, is there? Yeah. So 450 for that. And then um, that's the inner. So then the bottom, we're going to go 450 as well. There we go. Make that nice. And then at the top outer, is that the bottom out? The bottom outer, that's what we're going to call it. It's going to be like that. And then uh, we're going to play with it in a second, but we're going to put it into sounding payload first. So let's have a look. Uh, we're going to go into tank UI. We're going to go sounding payload. And that tells me that we have 130. I don't need that much. Uh, let's shorten a bit. What's it do now? Well, it's still 130. I'm pretty sure it's still not 130. 100. Okay, so we're going to... You know what? It doesn't really matter how heavy it is, does it? Let's just let's make the outer here. Uh, no, the... <clears throat> that's too much. The wrong button. Right, make that back that. Make this down a bit. And then I'm going to just fatten the top. Fatten the top a bit. And then what does that give me? Uh, thank you, I. 109. I want to go again. Um, make it... I want to make it too short, do I? Um, actually, you know what? I do want to make it shorter. Because, um, do I? Yeah, because I actually want to put this here. Then I want to put that there. Then I want to put that there. Then I want to put this on top. So the, the little creatures in there can just look out carefully. <laughs> um, right, what's this at? 75. So let's make this uh, wider at the top, maybe? Yeah, let's make it wider. Um, outer top make it about there and then the bottom will make wider as well it's making stuff with sea monsters right what's that give me no it's still not good enough right make it a bit taller right what about now is is that gonna work for me is that gonna that's better right so we're gonna make this 120 because always go better bigger right so that's 120 then i'm gonna do a little bit of a pull these things up and about to there there we go that's nice. That should be okay. So our little thing's got a bit of air, air there. So that's the worst design pod I've ever done in my entire life. That is actually horrendous. Right, I've got five minutes on this episode. So, oh, I've actually got the option to upgrade these things now, haven't I? Uh, we're not going to do that um, because I don't even realize we didn't even realize that we've actually upgraded. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, we want to stand out. So we're going to do it in orange. There we go. Um, orange stands out. Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, this this can actually go into it. No, I'll just leave that. It's not, I'm not even going to bother with it. Right. Put that onto there. I like so. And that should be good. Launch. I don't want those things decoupling straight away. We'll do that. Um, and then that's that done, I think. That is it done. That's the craft there finished. Save that. Uh, can we tool something? Probably need to tool something. How much is that to tool? 5,000 funds. Oh, eats, it eats my funding. Um, part of the reason why we're only doing one tank around there, because then we can just uh, modify it. So I want three of these. I know I want three. One. Yeah, thank you. Two, three. Um, and I need to turn on the biological capsule, don't I? Because I think I haven't done that yet. Uh, what do we do? Where, where are we? What's this? Uh -huh. Let's check if I've actually done it already. Is it already on? Yeah, it's already on. It's okay. All right. Uh, leave there. Don't save that. Thank you very much. Right, so it's going to be a bit like what I used to do in academia, which is you you basically apply for a piece of work when you've already basically finished it. Um, so we're putting that film canister in first. Then we're going to have the bio. Then we're going to have that built. And then we'll, we'll stick that there. 
Um, so we're gonna basically let the film canister run on. Ah, now the other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fire some astronauts because we don't need them and they cost money. So they're fired. Right, warp this please. We're gonna lose a lot of funding very soon um, just because we put a lot of money out. Um, so that's running down. What's our vessels looking like? Right, so the film one's about to be ready. Um, I don't really want to risk it by going too soon, but yeah, let's just let's get it built. So the film one we know we have to use. We know we, we, we're going to have to use it. We can complete it. We know the bio one we can complete as well. So if we need to, we can jump the next film one up to do this one, but we know we have time for it. Right, so let's have a look. That's got a huge increase now so at some point we may do this but at the moment i don't think it's it's working for us um difficult downrange is now up at 200 percent again still not really worth us to do it um so we're looking at biologicals actually doing too bad this one here this this space film one gives us pretty much just enough to launch it and then it gives us two twenty thousand when we finish so we're going to take that the launch we're going to roll this thing out there we go um, get it onto the pad and uh, we're actually coming close to the end of the episode so can I launch this thing and get it going before the next episode is the question right uh, before we do anything just check that we have that contract right where is the contract there it is we have the camera film right okay so we're going to launch this right let's let's do that all right it is a night launch again I'm not running the time forward because we don't have time for that we've got all these contract complete things i need to actually keep on top of those right so aim for this mission we need to get to 150 150 i think it is 150 and then 400 kilometers downrange right um we're ready get everything going fire the engine let's see if it does its wobble off the launch it does its wobble off the launch off we go right let's uh speed this up because i am down to one minute 30 Okay, so this this is gonna. I need this engine to have gone off before the episode ends, otherwise I have to pause the episode mid-flight, which is not ideal, if you ask me that. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, I need to turn. We need to get turning. We're going too fast, too quickly. We need to get this thing over. I also need to figure out what I might do in between episodes. Actually, is 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 actually figure out the mech jeb window because that's doing my head in a little bit. Right here we go. Turn that thing over. Get it over. We want it at forty-five, um, at least. I need I need it I need it at 45. Uh wrong button. There we go. Right, we need it at 45 because we need downrange distance. And I think we should have the the altitude from it. I don't think altitude should be too much of a problem. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the altitude, that's not a problem. Right. Um we're gonna drop to speed down. Okay. Oh, we have gone too high now. We'll just zero out across there. Right, two seconds and time is up. There we go. Now we're gonna ditch fairings. We're going to keep attached for now. We're keeping attached because uh, this is heavy and this will mean that the air resistance is actually minimal. We know this pod down here gets affected by drag quite considerably. Um, although saying that, that might not be a problem for us at the moment because we are going quite high. Although, you know, I don't think that's going to be right now. Now we can decouple it. There we go. The other problem is I need to decouple this before its electricity runs out um, because... Oh, and that's it. So from me, until the next time, have a great one.